Welcome back to Mainly Everything. My name is John, and just wanted to show you something else that was given to me recently. Um, it's a survival kit from Veet World, and this kind of interesting multi-tool type thing. So here's the multi-tool. Um, it's got a really sharp axe blade on it. It feels fairly rugged. I know everyone knows these survival tools are all kind of hokey, but I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay. So I'll put this blade cover on back before I cut myself. Okay, so it has a pair of pliers. All right. A couple of bits in there, as you can see, which is interesting. I don't know how I would get those. Oh, right there. You push them through or pull it? Oh, you pull it out. Cool. All right, so it has a Phillips 1 and 2, I'd like to say, and a flathead. Okay, and then let's see. So I can get these out. It's kind of oily. Yeah, sorry, one second. I'll try and get them out. How have you guys been? While well, I'm trying to open these, hope you guys have been good. Um, it's getting warm around here. Today was nasty. Stupid hot out. Um, so, little saw, little hex wrench type thing, bottle opener, and a knife. And it has a little hammer on this side. I don't really know what you put those bits in. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Oh, right there. Interesting. Oh, they push through. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so they push down all the way through and down. And then it's a really weak magnet at the top, but that's what you use it for. Let's see if it works at all. Yeah, spinning. That. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then to put it back in, you just go through that way. Cool. Comes with a sheath. Not really stuff I'll use, but it's so cool. I appreciate people giving me things, no matter what it is. This one comes in what looks like a waterproof case, which also looks like it's going to be hard to open. Two, three, four clips. And this is one of those, I'm assuming it's one of those kind of cheapy type um, Kits that's going to have all the standard stuff like an emergency blanket, a paracord bracelet with a built in compass. It is. Well. Not really accurate. No idea what this is um, this can extend I'm assuming there's something I'm missing here a little ferro rod and striker actually looks like it has measurements on it too though yep it does it has a little ruler on it that's mm, I have no idea millimeters Something I understand, whatever that's for. 
a what looks to like to be one of those tactical type pens. It has a little glass breaker or whatever on the top of it. Okay. A flashlight. Doesn't seem bad quality. No batteries though. So I'll have to throw some batteries in there. Alright. A spoon fork. Spork, if you will. Oh. And, <laughs> and a knife. A very dull knife, but a knife nonetheless. And this looks like it could be, yeah, this is also a whistle, the sheath. You know, for as cheap as these type of kits are, they, uh, they sure do know how to fit a lot of stuff in a little tool like that. Um, a, another actual knife. There's a rope cutter in the back. Another, again, another glass breaker. Um, oh boy. pretty sharp very sharp actually very sharp yeah doesn't really move not too cheap it's all metal cool be a cool little depth um, Knife you can carry, not care about what happens to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me guess. Yep. I hate these things. They suck. I don't find uses for them in anything I've ever done. I mean, maybe. But it's so much easier just to carry another little small tool. Yep, one of these. The uh, chainsaws and a little bit of fishing line, a hook, and a bait. So cool. Um, just wanted to. I don't know what this is still. What is this? What is this for? What am I missing? What am I missing? Am I. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this is for, or this. Huh. I have zero idea what any of this is for. All right. Cool. Do you want to see anything more like this? Uh, just let me know. Figured I'd get a little video out anyway today. Um, just because um, I don't know if getting videos every every day helps the channel or not. I really don't. But this isn't going to be as quality of a video, I don't think. But and I apologize for that. But. I figured I'd make one nonetheless because I'm going away for a few days up north. Uh, need a little bit of a vacation, so I'm gonna take a couple of days, but I'll be back. Today's uh, today's Tuesday night. I'll be back Friday. But if you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. I'll be able to respond to comments. I just won't be able to upload a video for a bit because I'll be away from home. But I appreciate you watching. And if you have anything else you guys want to see, um, pointing something out would be a massive help. I uh, Sometimes like, it's kind of hard to juggle what, like, what to review or what to do on YouTube or with everything else that's going on. But if you have any questions on tools or... I don't know, anything else. Um, 
I started this channel kind of as like a hobby type channel. I feel like it's kind of turned more into like a tool only type channel. But um, I don't mind. I like doing reviews on a lot of stuff. So it's gonna. It's not only going to go to tools. It's going to be everything. Um, maybe in the future, if channels, channel grows or whatever, I can do a channel dedicated to this and channel dedicated to that or whatever. Or series, you know. But uh, again, appreciate you watching. Um, I'm going to start blabbing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to start hop. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Bye.